Hi and thank you so much for joining me today. Today's video is for Pink Fresh Fridays. This is a YouTube hop set up by my friend Joanne Bartle um, with a wonderful group of YouTubers who all use everything Pink Fresh on the fourth Friday of the month. Um, I was really hoping that I would have the three new collections from Pink Fresh in time to record this but as we were on holiday at the time that this video is airing um, I was worried that it wouldn't come in in time for me to create something that I was happy with to put up. So I have a, ba a box full of all my old Pink Fresh supplies and I dug through that and went for everything yellow. So I'm doing a monochromatic layout using all the yellow pieces that I could find in that box. So I'm starting off by using the Antique Linen um, Tim Holtz Distress Oxide and using the packaging technique to create a strip horizontally across my white cardstock. Um, I then go in with a paintbrush just to add a little bit more and then leave that to dry. Once that's dry, I'm going in with the Tim Holtz um, texture paste, the matte texture paste, and a Vicky Butin stencil. I think this one was from Colour Study uh, and just creating some shapes, some circular shapes around that part where I want the photo to sit on. And my photo is one of us recently at a local National Trust property and I've changed it to black and white just so that it doesn't interfere with the monochromatic feel of the layout. So I'll leave you to watch me adding the texture paste here. Now once that texture paste is dry, I check that I'm happy with the positioning of everything by putting the photo on and then I start to have a play with all the bits that I've pulled out from my stash. So some odds and ends of paper, um, those acetate words are really old and um, just as I say having a play, trying to decide what I'm going to do because I haven't really got a plan at this point, I just know that I want a horizontal line with our photo in the middle. So this is a paper that I've taken from a recent collection and I really like the phrases on there. So I'm going to cut a few of the phrases out and they'll be used as ephemera around the page. It's the Live Right Now collection and some of these will be perfect for our photo of us, um, our family together. So I've just chosen three. The one that says, uh, take care of yourself and each other. One that says, remember this, we can weather any storm together. And the third one that I didn't use says, perfectly imperfect. So now I found this um, Buffalo plaid paper and I'm just going to use my EK Success border punch, notebook border punch to create a border. Again, don't really know where this is going, but just know that I do enjoy using this border punch on pages. So it would be a good idea to create a piece. <laughs> you do that just creating em embellishments and you don't even know if you're going to use them but I did in the end as I say I do love using them so just checking that that texture paste is dry and once it is I'm going to go in with the gold um, shine glaze from Vicky Butin so I start off by using my finger just to smear it onto that texture paste 
and then once I've done that I'm not totally happy with that so I move on to the next shape and try to do it with a paintbrush so you see me here grabbing for the paintbrush but again it's very thick and powdery so then I'll add some water and it's much better once I've added some water to it there we go just adding some water some packaging up there and see how it blends and moves about and I'm so much happier with that so I'll just go around painting all of the pieces that I've laid down with the texture paste And I love how that's turned out. So while that's drying, I'm just going to add some tissue paper behind my photo, just to add a soft mat to um, give it a bit of a break between that and all the yellow elements. turning my attention to that notebook edge piece that I created before I found the quickest way to distress anything like this and rough it up a bit is just using my Tim Holtz edge distressor and um, it doesn't actually distress the edges of the paper but it just moves them about a bit to make it look like it has been used in a notebook rather than just freshly made so now gathering together all my bits while that paper's drying and trying to flat lay everything down to see how I like it so chopping up pieces of paper and fiddling about. It's all part of the process. It doesn't look anything like this at the end, but <laughs> it's fun to try. And here I'm really starting to get a feel for how I want the layout to look. Again, I'm going to use one of James's JD 3D print titles that are new to Halo for Magpie. Um, so just adding all these bits and pieces. At this point, I still think I'm going to use these pattern papers, but they don't. I don't end up using them.
and so just adding this washi phrase from I think it was Life Noted collection from a good few years ago now and it reads write it on your heart that every day is the best day of the year it's a bit wonky there but I will come in with my tea ruler in a second and straighten that when I add the photo so I'm starting to realize I want to add more circular elements to the page because we've got those circular texture paste pieces so I grabbed a load of my circle punches in all different sizes and I'm just going to go through the papers that I've pulled out and punch some circles of differing sizes to add around the layout. And I realise here that I really do want to get that photo stuck down so that I can start making sure that I'm putting pieces in the right place. So coming in with my 6 to 25mm foam pad pieces to raise that photo up a little bit away from the rest of the layout and give it prominence. Here we go with the tea ruler. And this is when I see that that washi tape strip isn't straight at all, so I'll correct that isn't easy with the tissue paper but I managed to get it sorted. Now just going around the, the page and starting to adhere down the pieces that I know I'm happy with the positioning of. So using some double sided tape for that strip and now back to the wet glue for this piece. It's just quick, I think that's why I'm constantly grabbing for that because it's just quick and easy. And scrapbooking papers are such good quality that they don't warp at all when you use a wet glue. Unless it's a really poor quality one with a lot of water content. But you only need a dab of this really to stick things down. So going in with some foam pads just to add different um, dimension to the layout, especially using all these different circular bits, wanting to layer them. So this is stuck under the foam pad, but of course as soon as I bend it back it comes free. And I like that off cut from the notebook tab punch so I'll stick that onto that remember this tag there I'll first of all trim it off the edge it can be a distraction if things aren't trimmed down to how they're supposed to look at the end so I don't tend to leave them on too long before trimming them down so as I say gluing on that notebook head punch oh not quite yet Again, adding some foam for definition to that circle. Here we go. Just adhering that to the edge of that tab and then I decide to raise that onto foam as well. So coming in with those trusty 25mm. Honestly, they're so handy. I love them. And now using my tiny attacher to staple that hello down and then I'll just use a tiny bit of wet glue in a minute to stick down the first bit of the H just to keep it straight. I 
And these leaves are fussy cut from a sheet of the pink fresh paper. And this is a flare badge from Adam at Dotty About Flare. I think this was from the 49er Market Spectrum Sherbet set that he created, but the colour goes perfectly with this. And again, it's just adding a bit more definition to the page. Making sure that I don't cover the words on that washi tape piece. And then adding the leaves. And they work quite nicely because we're in a foresty, woody area, so they kind of echo what's going on in the photo. And one piece at the top there. And this Stay True Bobba Banner goes all round the page. It will find a resting place in the end. I'm quite decisive with this piece, which I'm pleased about. So slowly these gaps are beginning to fill up to get the look that I wanted that horizontal layout. You see, just trying it everywhere and I can't quite decide where to put it. And I start to have a play with some strips of paper. I dovetailed the end and had a, had a mess around but I wasn't really happy so I think I end up using these to punch out some more circles <laughs> in the end. That one's staying there for a bit because I was thinking maybe I'd add the date to it but I'll come up with a much better idea for the date. So again using this um, We Are Memory Keepers uh, whole reinforcer punch. I really like this to add circles to my layouts at the moment you will have seen me doing it on the last layout. So just grabbing scraps of paper and punching some of these out to add around. And finally here I find where I'm going to put that Stay True rubber banner <laughs> and it sits there and that looks really nice. So there are still some gaps that I want to fill in so just having a look through to see what else I've got and I find a rogue circle so again adding that to some foam. Now I've run out of the circular foam pads but I wanted this to be the same height as the other ones so just using some of the off cut you'll see just trimming off the excess and then adding that again to where the hole is and that works really nicely and um, these are pink fresh in the mix enamel dots and I'll just scatter as many of these around the page as I can fit and um, it's really nice to get some of these used and they were again they work perfectly this has become a very circular layout, it's my favourite shape, so <laughs> anybody who knows me, dots and spots I absolutely adore. I think this pack is from the best day slightly different color of yellow so going in with the ones that I have left from that there were two two yellows one was a lemon and one was more of a mustard it just adds more interest 
you know, like that. Just seeing what else needs to be added now. Sometimes I have to hold it up in front of me to truly see where it's not quite balanced right. Just the last few bits being added now. And then I want to add my date. And I decide that I'm going to use my roller date stamp, which I quite often use on my layouts. But rather than just positioning it in one place on the tab, I'm actually going to use that antique linen ink that I used at the beginning. And I'm just going to stamp it in several places around the layout, just to use it as an accent rather than a specific item on the layout. I think I've finished, but then see a few more gaps that I want to add it to. <laughs> more is more. There we go, I'm really happy with how that looks. And now I'm going in, I've got these teeny tiny sequins that I think I got from eBay. Um, so just pulling the yellows out of that and dotting them around. And then I'll go in with some orangey gold ones that I've got. And they work really well with that um, glaze, the, the Vicky Booting glaze. There is a sort of tone of gold. I just want to add one more thing. So I grabbed the lid of my um, Heidi Swap Distress Shine Gold Glaze and go into that antique linen ink pad and use it as a stamp and just add these rings around. And I think that really finishes it off nicely. And it's amazing the difference in colour when you use it with water and water it down and it oxidises and when you're using it just neat <laughs> from the pad. Just using that spare paper to protect my desk while I stamp over the edge. And I just want to add a few more splutters at the bottom. So just wiping off the excess from that lid, not to waste it, add a bit of water. And then just shielding the bottom and the top of the layout so that it just goes around that strip that we've created. And then I'll fold up the paper and use the packaging technique just to add a little bit more. Top and bottom. And then it's just the title that needs to be added and that's going centrally underneath the photo. So just add that on with my Nouveau. So please do check down below the description box because all the people joining in on this hop will be mentioned down there. So it'd be great if you go, go and have a look at their videos and give them some love. And if you like what you see, I'd love it if you subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for joining me. Till next time. Bye.